Hey guys, just figured I'd pop this on while I was finished doing my hair. Uh, I was trying to figure out what to wear, but I just threw this on as I'm getting ready. I love sweaters that resemble sheeps. Um, I don't know, but every time I like lift my arms up, this whole sweater, like the fuck is that? And it's long as hell. And um, yeah, it's it's taken me so long to unblock this, like to get ready. I could not get my eyeliner ready. I literally went through half a box of these Q-tips to wipe off my eye. This one I can always do. This is the pain in the ass, which is why it's probably uneven. Um, my skin is just giving me absolute shit and I don't know why it's decided at this time to be whatever. Um, and I've told you guys how I don't normally get breakouts. It'll literally just turn into almost resembling a mosquito bite and then it'll just turn into like a dry patch of skin, you know? So right here I have one. And back in the day, all my friends hated me and they didn't know why I took forever to get ready. But like back in the, my junior high, high school years, if you could see one patch of dry skin, I wasn't leaving the house. Like just wasn't leaving. And I don't know. See, this lighting is really bad. And I've asked so many people, maybe I just don't have any good friends. I asked my best friend, um, my boyfriend, everybody at work. I'm like, is my foundation different than my neck? Obviously, this part is darker because that's where I put bronzer. Um, because I've said this is the foundation that I use, and I'm I'm convinced that it's just a BB cream, but I do mix it with a little bit of this velvet matte mousse. Um, even if it's not the right color, I'm doing nothing but probably going to my friend's house to have a beer or two, so my whole face could be orange and I don't give a shit. Uh also, I almost do it like the bronze are a bit heavier because throughout the night, Physician's Formula is really good, but it fades a lot. So this is like fresh makeup. If you see me within an hour, it's almost like way less. I don't know. I'm sure I look the same. Anyway, so I was watching a bunch of different YouTube and I was um, got into the whole like Joe Rogan and he started talking to people about... Um, stuff they have done as a kid or like messed up stuff and I almost got into that in my other video. It's Friday so I'm sure kids are fucking parts. That's another reason I don't want to be home. I don't want to hear that shit. Uh, he was talking about messed up things you've done as a kid and I said like whenever I used to walk the streets but it gets more than that. I mean that's just typical dumbass you don't walk around alone at three o'clock in the morning um but even me and my girlfriend are talking okay so because I ran into this kid I haven't seen in years and he was one of my best friends he used to pick me up he used to carpool a lot of us in his truck to go to school whenever I was in high school so he had a small black truck and you could obviously take the top off you know it like folded back um the bed of the truck and we would go to the lake all the time during the summer like we just wake up in the morning and be like okay let's go Obviously, you're only fitting about four people in the tiny truck in the front because he had little flip-out seats. So, you know where this is going. Some of us would ride in the bed of the truck. And that is... <laughs> I couldn't even imagine... I barely could think about it now because of my, like, horrific fear of being in vehicles. And this drive to the lake was 45 minutes. And that's, like, on a smooth sailing day. Like, there was always traffic. And that's what I'm saying, how I was just so stupid and so fearless back then I remember um on one of the trips we must have just been stuck in traffic for so long because I poked my head out I thought we were there I lifted up the truck bed and poked my head out <laughs> and we were on the highway and luckily I guess nobody was paying attention in their cars but all of a sudden I just hear from the front seat close the fucking lid whatever and we thought it was hilarious like the more and sometimes he would do, like, donuts in the parking lot. I mean, a lot of, I, I would hope, a lot of older people, because the stuff that they were talking about on the podcast was, all I had to do was laugh because they were laughing. It wasn't probably as severe. Um, but it's like, we all, I don't know, all of us do stupid shit. Like, I don't need a lecture. Obviously, I don't need a lecture. But uh, we also used to spray paint. So we didn't start this trend, clearly. But there was an overpass at a park that we used to go to all the time. And we would go to, you know, Walmart before. I think now to buy spray paint, you need an ID. But I would use my allowance money and get a couple cans of spray paint. And we only found this spot because it was already totally covered in graffiti. And it wasn't even anything bad. 
Um, but by the time I was done, everywhere just said like Katie loves Gumby and it was just a mess. Um, but all of our friends would go down there. So obviously an underpass is where, um, it was a train or it was like a metro. It was like a big metro bus that would go over this top. No, no, no. Okay. So I'm sorry. I'm getting kind of confused because it was both. You go to this park and we would go way, way off to the side, off to the back and you'd have to walk on the train tracks for, I want to say maybe a hundred yards or so. And then that's whenever you get to the overpass, but we had to book it because obviously if a train's coming, we don't want to be walking on the tracks. So we get to the big overpass and that's where we would hang out. Um, one of my friends climbed up the very top. Now the train came down the overpass. That's where the Metro would go. And they, I mean, long story short, he almost got hit by the Metro, which we were all, I was furious with this motherfucker. I was so mad because this train, you know, it's one thing for the train because it would come once a day, if that, I don't know, like we were all stupid for even doing that, but a train, you see it coming from far away. We had enough whatever to run away. This dumbass tried to climb up to the top to spray paint. Oh, I was just absolutely livid. I was more so of like, not the fun one. Also, I was like, whenever people would, um, I'm sorry to say like, I'm sorry, kill me. They always wanted to climb stuff, climb up buildings. Um, there was a lot of like abandoned buildings. They always wanted to climb up to and like smoke weed. Cause that was just a cool thing. Let's like get, I'm still going to say, let's get high and get high. That's, I just wanted to delete this video. Uh, but I, I would never do that. Also, I'm afraid of heights and I was like the chunky one. So I couldn't like crawl out of anywhere fast enough. Um, we used to hang out at this uh, elementary school or I think it was like a element. We, we didn't do anything bad back then. We would just play on the playground and swing and stuff. But there was a paper bin, a recycle bin that we used to climb into all the time. Not a dumpster. It was literally just for recycled newspapers. And we'd climb in there and just sit and like we didn't mean to like we'd scare people because I'd open up the latch or something and we were just dumb you know I'm sure we're trying to be like the era of jack out so it was like 2006 we we're all like 12 but if you imagine I mean it's the exact same size as a dumpster and I could get in because I could you know hitch my foot onto that little leg where you throw paper in but I couldn't get out and I was always wearing flip-flops um and it was so embarrassing because I would have to act like I'm not ready to get out because everybody would be like, okay, are we ready to go to the next, wherever we're going? And I'd have to sit there like, oh, it was fucking horrible. Because I never wanted any help. All my friends were like, come on, help. You know, and all the boys were with, they're like, come on. So eventually I was like, you know what, screw it. So I remember um, one of my guy friends helping me out. I don't ever straighten my hair this much. Uh, it was still a little bit, sorry, it was still a little bit damp. I was trying to let it air dry. Cause I did not want to blow dry cause it would have been so frizzy, but I jumped out of the paper bin and he like caught me and everything like a baby, but it was still so embarrassing because in my mind, I'm like, I'm 6,000 pounds. You're dying. I'm so sorry. And this is so feminine of me. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, there's probably so many, that's more like embarrassing chunky stories of like getting stuck and people always wanted to climb fences. And that's whenever I made it a routine because I remember at first I just couldn't do it. It would just take me longer than everybody else because I'm just not a, a fence climber, I guess. But I eventually started only wearing flip-flops because I'm like, I can't climb this fence in flip-flops. And they would all be like, okay, fine, just walk around. And somebody would always walk around with me. So as much as I, I tore up my feet so much for that sole fact because we'd go to parks and play and that was always my excuse. I can't do this. I'm wearing flip-flops. I can't do this. Da -da -da. And it was always so dumb. Um... Cause you know, back then like etnies were the big thing. So I always wore my big etnies with my, you know, jeans and band t-shirts. I don't know, I was like listening to um, Matchbox 20 and the calling and shit before I started this video. I was trying to get in the mood of I don't know what. I don't know what I'm gonna wear. Luckily the weather's cooler. I'm probably just gonna wear that Cannibal Corp sweatshirt I had on in my other video cause I totally forgot I had that. That the that sweatshirt is just a plain black sweatshirt I got from Walmart, and the Cannibal Corp shirt that's 
I, I cut out the picture of it on an old t-shirt I had because it was the first Cannibal Corpse shirt I ever got because I believe it's the Butchered at Birth album. And that's my favorite ever. Uh, so I cut that off and made it a sweatshirt. Ugh. God, I remember when Fridays were like cool. It was the hip thing. I'd be out all night. Now it's like 8 o'clock and I just don't want to do anything. I'm sorry this is really boring. That's why I like to get ready and then sit down and try to do a video. But I, my makeup station is a complete wreck. And I'm hoping like this makeup sticks pretty good. You guys know that I always use the Prep and Prime. And it's like the natural radiance. I don't know if it's a real difference in formula. But of course I went to the matte counter and I'm like, can I get the Prep and Prime? Because it's cheaper. It's like 30 bucks. And she's like, we only have the natural radiance. Of course, because it's $42. But whatever, it's a bigger bottle, so that'll work. Um, I think... It sounds like it's raining, but I can hear dogs. I was going to do, like, a whole video on something else, but this channel, for me, it does not need to get political. Everything this day, you can't say anything right. I mean, I'm sure in this video people are going to be like... You're a horrible person. You could have killed the train conductor. It's like, no, I'm not the dumbass that tried to graffiti an eyeball 50 stories up. I was the fat kid that just tried to fit in. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. I don't know. Oh, there is something I want to say before I jump off here. Uh, I was so confused. I saw an article, I kept seeing it a few times on um, YouTube recommendation how um, Paramore wasn't going to do misery business anymore or something on their tour or ever again. And I was so confused as to why, like, did somebody die that helped write the song? And it's because of a line that she says, want to whore you're nothing more. And I'm like, bitch, that was like the best part of the song. I get what she means. And she was like, you know, I wrote it whenever I was 17. I was in high school. It's just like something that I went through. It's like, that's what all like emo music was what do you mean well the good thing is that we can all still sing it in our bedrooms oh i think that's why i have like a red line on my phone so it's making the side of my face look super like red or orange whatever we'll just buff these scratches out squidward all right i'm gonna hop off here i'm just gonna throw on some um, yoga pants or leggings in that sweatshirt and call it a Friday night. My Friday nights would have probably been a lot better if I didn't care as much as I don't care now about what I look like. Excuse me, sorry. Because, man. Alright, I'm gonna do it. You guys don't need to, like, listen to me clean, but I love you guys very much. I'll see you guys